we can work out the buoyancy of an object if we know three things. The weight of the object, the volume of the water the object displaces, and how much that water weighs, so the weight of the water per liter. The weight of the water is a constant. It is always the same. Sea water weighs 1.03 kilograms per liter and fresh water only weighs 1 kilogram per liter. Let's start off with an example in fresh water. An object weighs 50 kilograms and displaces 40 liters. Make a drawing like this. Pulling down is 50 kilograms and pushing up is 40 liters. We need to know how much these 40 liters weigh. Well, each of these 40 liters weighs 1 kilogram. So 40 is 40 times 1 kilogram is 40 kilograms. So now we know 50 kilograms is going down and 40 kilograms is going up. There's more weight going down than going up. So we know the object sinks. By how much does it sink? We can find this out by working out the difference between the weight of the object and the weight of the water it displaces. So how much is going up and how much is going down? 50 kilograms minus 40 kilograms equals 10 kilograms. We knew the object was sinking and now we know it's being pulled down with a force of 10 kilograms. The object is 10 kilograms negatively buoyant. Suppose we want to bring this object up with a lift bag. To make the object neutrally buoyant, we need to add enough air to the lift bag to displace this extra 10 kilograms of water. How many liters is 10 kilograms of fresh water? Well, one liter of fresh water weighs one kilogram. So if we need 10 kilograms, we need 10 liters. 10 kilogram divided by 1 equals 10. So in fresh water it is simple. In seawater you do exactly the same. But to find out how much displaced water weighs, you have to multiply and divide by 1.03 kilograms instead of just one. Let's do the same calculation again, but this time in seawater, so you can see the difference. Again, the object weighs 50 kilograms and displaces 40 liters of water. But this time the weight of each displaced liter of water is 1.03 kilograms. Make your drawing. There's 50 kilograms of weight going down. That stays the same. But what is the weight of the displaced water pushing up? If each of the 40 liters weighs 1.03 kilograms, we must multiply 40 by 1.03 kilograms. And this equals 41.2 kilograms. The displaced water weighs 41.2 kilograms. So there's 41.2 kilograms of force pushing up. We knew 50 was going down, so again we know that the object sinks. But by how much does it sink? 50 kilograms 
minus 41.2 kilograms equals 8.8 .8 kilograms. So the object is being pulled down with a force of 8.8 .8 kilograms. It is 8.8 .8 kilograms negatively buoyant. And that makes sense. It is a little bit more buoyant in seawater than it is in fresh water. Remember, in fresh water the object was 10 kilograms negatively buoyant, and in seawater it's only 8.8 .8 kilograms negatively buoyant. Let's use our lift back again. To make the object neutrally buoyant, we must displace an extra 8.8 .8 kilograms of water. How many liters is 8.8 .8 kilograms of seawater? In fresh water it would be easy. You just say, well, it's 8.8 .8 liters. But that is not the case now, because one liter of seawater weighs 1.03 kilograms. So we can't divide by one, but we have to divide by 1.03. And 8.8 .8 kilograms divided by 1.03 equals only 8.5 liters. So we need to displace an extra 8.5 liters. And that's 1.5 liters less than in fresh water. Now let's calculate the buoyancy of a positively buoyant object. Again, the object weighs 50 kilograms, but this time it displaces 80 liters of water. The object is in seawater, so each of those 80 liters weighs 1.03 kilograms. First, we need to find out how much 80 litres of seawater weighs. 80 multiplied by 1.03 equals 82.4 kilograms. 80 litres of seawater weighs 82.4 kilograms. There is 82.4 kilograms of force pushing up and only 50 kilograms of force pulling down. So we know that the object floats. But by how much does it float? Eighty two point four kilograms minus fifty kilograms equals thirty four point two kilograms. So the object is being pushed up with a force of thirty four point two kilograms. It is thirty four point two kilograms positively buoyant. To make this object neutrally buoyant, we need to add more weight to it. We need to pull the object down more. We need to add 34.2 kilograms, so that the object weighs the same as the water it displaces. If we want to make it sink, we need to add even more weight. For example, to make it 20 kilograms negatively buoyant, we would need to add an extra 20 kilograms on top of the 34.2 kilograms we have already added. 34.2 kilograms plus 20 kilograms equals 54.2 kilograms in total. Therefore, we would need to add 54.2 kilograms to make the object 20 kilograms negatively buoyant. Now, you must know the weight of the object, the volume of the water displaced, and the weight of that water to be able to work out the buoyancy of an object. 
If you're missing any of these three pieces of information, you cannot work it out. If you don't know the weight of the object, you don't know how much force is pulling the object down. If you don't know the volume of the water displaced, or the weight of that water, you don't know how much force is pushing the object up. If you know that an object is neutrally buoyant, how much the object weighs and what type of water it is in, you can work out the volume of the water it displaces. This is because the object is neutrally buoyant. And because it is neutrally buoyant, it must displace the same weight of water as the weight of the object. If a 40 kilogram object is neutrally buoyant in seawater, it must displace 40 kilograms of seawater. How many litres is 40 kilograms of seawater? Well, that is 40 kilograms divided by 1.03, and that equals 38.8. 3 litres. So the volume of the water that the object displaces is 38.83 litres. By the same logic, if you know that an object is neutrally buoyant, and if you know the volume of water that the object displaces, and what type of water it is in, you can work out how much the object weighs. Again, this is because the object is neutrally buoyant. And if it's neutrally buoyant, it must weigh the same as the water it displaces. So if a neutrally buoyant object displaces 80 litres of seawater, it must weigh the same as 80 litres of seawater. How much does 80 litres of seawater weigh? Well, we know that each of those litres weighs 1.03 kilograms. 1.03 multiplied by 80 equals 82.4 kilograms. The object weighs 82.4 kilograms. Remember, if you want to practice more examples of working out buoyancy, download the worksheet from the resources for this lecture.